Hello campers! Welcome back to day three at Camp on Ciala 2020. I hope you enjoyed making your sumac lemonade on Monday and your mountain pies on Tuesday. Today we're going to be doing something quite a bit different. We are going to be learning how to cook and eat lilies, particularly daylilies and tiger lilies. We're going to do it a couple different ways. Uh, one, my favorite, is frying them to the point where they're a lot like frying onion rings or a blooming onion. Mmm, awesome. Now before we get started, before we go out and find our lilies, we gotta go over the ground rules again. You remember the first one? Never eat anything unless you're sure what it is. Number two, you gotta have an adult with you. And I want the adults to check the foods that you're picking with the photos I provide and also cross-checking online or in books. Also, like any cooking, we're going to be using hot things, microwaves, stoves, and ovens. So you got to have an adult with you to help you with all of these things. So with that said, let's go find our lilies. So here we have some daylilies. Now there's a few different ways that we can eat these. One is uh, you're going to break them off right here at the back of the stem. So I'm just going to pinch that so that you can see the end of the stalk here. Now there is a ton of sugar inside this little stalk here. So if we just squeeze right here, all the sugar starts bubbling out. And then what you can do is just suck the sugar right out. Eat this whole stalk whole. It tastes a lot like a sweet pepper with a little sugar water in it. Now the whole flour is edible, but I like to fry these like onion rings. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pick the flour parts off and fry them. And for those of you that like green beans, we can pick the ones that haven't become flowers yet and cook them with some salt like green beans. So see these pods right here that haven't turned to flowers yet? Those will fry like beans. The flowers will, will batter them and cook them like onion rings. So let's pick all these off. Flour, flour. Get all these pods here. And it doesn't matter. Oh, sorry, truck going by. Doesn't matter how small they are. Uh, for cooking them like like beans, you know, the smaller the better. Once they start to open, they you're probably going to want to fry them. Take all these off. Oh, got another pod right here. You know, you don't want to take any flowers if they're starting to rot. They're best if you batter them when they're nice and open. But it's getting a little late in the year, so we've got a little slim pickings this year. So I'm just going to grab this whole lot of them and here's here's our food got some flowers right here and we got some pods here and like i said you can eat these raw if you want to uh one thing i wouldn't recommend is eating uh oh, too many of these you eat a pint of these and they'll uh, probably give you a poor bathroom experience uh because there's a lot of fiber and things like that in them so let's take these in the kitchen and start to prepare them. Now you may come across some other lilies that look very similar, uh, but have some different features. These right here are called tiger lilies. 
Now, all lilies in the Lilium genus family are edible. That's fancy Latin for the lily family. Uh, so any types of these lilies you see, the entire plants are edible. So these are some tiger lilies, so we'll take a couple of these too. Now that we've got our lilies, let me show you how to prepare them. If you look right here, we these, these pods here, these are our day lilies. So we'll cook these like a stir fry. And here's our tiger lilies right here. Let's do the easy one first. So here's our pods. So we'll just give them a quick rinse. Now that we've got our lilies, uh, let me show you how to prepare them. Like I said, we've got two different types of lilies here. We got tigers and day lilies. I'll pull up a picture right now side by side so you can see them. So the day lilies here, we can cook these all either way, vice versa. They're all edible, but because the day lilies are just getting past season right now, I had trouble finding some nice fresh flowers. So I'm just gonna cook the daylily pots. So first we're gonna rinse these off in the sink. Then we'll just throw them in a pan, bam. Butter or olive oil, I'm gonna use a little olive oil here. And then we'll throw them on the stove and cook them just like any other type of stir fry. You can throw a little sauce with them if you want, or salt, pepper. Um, with my stir fry, I'll do a little bit of teriyaki. salt. Go to top on there. Give it a few minutes, mix it every two or three minutes. They're looking pretty nice. So let's give them a little bit of a stir. Smelling pretty good. You see here how the bigger ones are kind of opening up a little bit, but the smaller ones are staying in like a pod form. That's why uh, a lot of times you want the smaller ones if you're gonna cook them like this. But they'll still taste okay. Hey, I think they're ready, let's grab them. Now, for those of you kids who hate eating green things, these probably don't look too appetizing. But let's try them anyway. There it goes. Not bad. Hey, Gabe and Theo, you want to try some of these? Some lilies, the flowers. I'm hearing crickets. Hey guys, you want to try some nature candy? Well, that got their attention. Better hurry up. We're eating the flowers. Here, have a bite. And we're going to cook those next. Mm. It's a little warm. Huh. All right. Is it good though? Hey, got a three-year-old to eat it. How about we cook the flowers next, Theo? Hey guys. Okay. 
Now let's fry these, okay? But what's first? What's the first thing we need to do? Wash our hands. That's right. Let's go wash our hands. Okay. You too, Theo. I'm just waiting to the Ready to fry them? Yeah. Okay, first what we gotta do is pour some milk into this bowl. Okay. So Gabe, I'll have you carefully pour some milk in. There we go. Okay, now Theo. Yep, not yet. Theo, now we've got to get a spoon. I know. You can wait there, I'll get it for you. And let's put some flour, here, hold that. Pour some flour, put the spoon in, Theo, and pull some flour out onto the plate. Well, do it then. Okay, that should be good, that's enough. Okay, now we got two of these, so you can each do one. So, put one of the flowers into the milk. Put it down and flip it over. I'll show you why. Okay, then we take it out of the milk and put it in the flour. flour all over it, like that. <coughs> hey, Gabe, we gotta get flour all over it. Yeah, but I don't. Oh, you don't wanna do the messy part? Uh-uh, I don't want the messy parts. Okay, and then once it's got the flour on it, we'll throw it on the plate. It looks like a white octopus. <laughs> okay, Theo, your turn. Take that tiger lily and put it in the milk. Why do, why do people call them tiger lilies? You know, that's a good question. Gabe just asked why they're called tiger lilies, and that's a big pet peeve of mine. Because if you look at it, it's got black spots. Tigers don't have spots. Shouldn't it be called like a bangle lily or a leopard lily? Tiger lily? Don't approve of the name. That's amazing. Okay. Now that one's nice and wet, we'll throw this one in the flour. I have some flour. Okay, put it on. That's what I would do. I would just dump it on like that. And look, why is this? Oh, you forgot to cook that one. It's a baby one. So this is a baby there. one? Now we've got two battered tiger lilies. Is this a baby one? Yep. So, if your parents have a deep fryer, these are awesome to drop into the deep fryer. I do not have one because if I did, I would fry everything. I weigh 500 pounds. So we're gonna cook, uh, fry these the old fashioned way. Let me wash my hands again. Get all that flour off. So I'm going to take our same pan from before, now that it's cooled down. Now, you don't really want to use olive oil for frying the pan, and that's because olive oil catches fire a lot faster, and uh, also it will splash out and can burn you. So I recommend using canola oil or butter. So we've got some butter here, so we'll throw some of that in, and we'll fry it in butter. So I'm going to take half a stick, roughly. Throw that in. Oh, you missed a piece. I didn't want the whole piece, Kate. So we'll melt that. I want to eat. You can eat that. It's not cooked, but that's fine. Is the baby one still in the cook? Is it yummy? Mmm. Do you have nice and chill? Mmm, melted butter.
Okay, now that the butter's mostly melted, take our battered flowers and put them in. Now we'll let them fry. I'm gonna watch them fry. Careful, Gabe, next to the fire. It's about ready. See how it's got that nice golden brown fried look to it? So let's get some ketchup and some plates and try it out. Okay, let's see how it tastes. Guys, you ready to try it? Gabriel and Theo, we're doing a cooking and eating show. I thought you would enjoy this song. This song is about a man who loved to make sausages. And not only did he love to make sausages, but he was the first person to invent how to make sausages. He saw all these uh, bad animals that were good for nothing, things like rats and cats and dogs. And he said, hey, I bet those could be made into something to eat. And so he invented a sausage machine, and his name was Dunderback. There was a man named Dunderback invented a machine For grinding things to sausage meat was run by a stream. Now kitchen cats and long-tailed rats will never more be seen. They've all been ground to sausage meat in Dunderback's machine. Oh, Dunderback, oh, Dunderback, how could you be so mean? Forever have invented the sausage meat machine. Now all the cats and rats and dogs will never more be seen. They've all been ground to sausage meat in Dunderback's machine. One day a little boy walked into his store. A little piece of sausage meat was lying on the floor. While the little boy was waiting, he whistled a tune. The sausage meat got up and barked and ran around the room. Oh, Dunderback, oh, Dunderback, how could you be so mean? Forever have invented the sausage meat machine. Now all the rats and cats and dogs will never more be seen. They've all been ground to sausage meat in Dunderback's machine. So I'll see you all tomorrow when we cook another delicious drink. I think it might include blackberries. We'll find out more tomorrow. Have a good day. Yeah.